the reason for our demonstration on the seventh, as you rightly said, was as it relates to hardship and time off for pay. We are now in January, the new year. Hardship allowances and commuting allowances are given from September. It has been September, October, November, December, four months. And we have over 50% of our teachers have not yet received those allowances. Not yet received them. Have you heard anything from the ministry to say, management, you must do this to ensure that these teachers get their payments on time? No. Not even to their own management. But they want to put us on it to say, we support the docking of our teachers' salaries. Just pointed in terms of hardship. Those were matters that we negotiated. And so when you have a benefit given to you, if you are on a contract, for example, you, you have, this is your package. When you go and you get another contract, your package is not less than what you had before. Nobody bargains for less. So now you want to recategorize these schools instead of just adding those who need to be added. And if there are some who are no longer in existence and need to be removed, then you do so. But nobody bargains for less. And the ministry is saying to our teachers in, in some way that, listen, some of you will be getting less than what you were getting before. Who in their right mind would accept less than what they were getting? You know, it's like you hire me this year and you give me this salary, and the next year you hire me on an, another year contract and I get less. And I will say, no problem, I will take less. And the following year I take less again. And the following year I take No, but that is nonsense. That is nonsense. So if it is, Andre, that we need to involve the NTUCB in coming on board with us to address these matters of our teachers, if we have to go to the ILO, if we have to go to our Caribbean Union of Teachers in the region for support, we are going to be doing that.